Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. George. Thank you, Mr. Hale. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You're Mr. Hale? That's right. I'm Tom Henderson, Treasury agent. I'd like to see you in private. Certainly. Come this way, please. Sit down, Mr. Henderson. Thank you, sir. Now, what can I do for you? I want to speak to you about a problem we have. A problem? A considerable amount of counterfeit money has shown up in this territory. You mean here in Dorado? Yes. Why, I can't believe that. We were wondering if you had encountered any of it. Why, no, I haven't. Don't move. Oh, you haven't, eh? Then you are mixed up in this. Just what we thought. Shut up. Stand there like a bump on a log getting down here. You see, it's what they want us for. We didn't ever wash in these necks of the woods before. And besides, I didn't know it was worth five hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't know what they want us for, Pancho. But we are not going to wait here to find out. Telling me what the law wants us for this time? You'll find out soon enough. Get going. Pancho is going to write to Presidente as soon as Pancho learns how to write. If a cow is lost in San Antonio or a bank is robbed in Los Angeles or somebody steals a chicken in Albuquerque, Cisco and Pancho get the blame. Well, what do you want us for? I don't want you. Then why did you bring us in? Because I asked him to, Cisco. United States Marshal Ben Lane. You old horse thief. How are you? Good to see you. Seguro que si. Hey, don't yank my arm off. I still need it. You two certainly can make yourself scarce. I've had the law searching for you in a dozen counties. What's up, Ben? Washington needs your help, boys, to track down a gang of counterfeiters. Well, if you can track down Cisco and Pancho, why you can't track down your own counterfeiters? That's a fair question, Pancho. But there's a very good reason why the Treasury Department can't show its hands. Believe me, we need your help. All right, Ben, let's have it. There's a group of counterfeiters been operating out of Dorado. Hey, that's good work. Yes, very good work. But there's one thing they've overlooked.
better turn out some more fries, Perry. Do you think it's about time we put our friend on ice? Oh? Since when are you doing the thinking? Well, we don't need him anymore, do we? Look, stupid. If his reports stop going to Washington, they'll know something's wrong. And send a whole flock of other agents. You take care of the printing and leave the brain work to me. I still don't understand why we got to be the bloodhounds to catch these counterfeiters. Didn't Ben tell us they sent an agent here who disappeared? Well, let him send another agent. Let him send a couple of dozen agents. Well, Pancho, the government feels certain that these counterfeiters are holding this agent as prisoner. Well, then let the government send the army to unprison the prisoner. Pancho, shall I tell you a secret? Hey, what is it? You and I are the army. Oh, that's a different horse of another color. Why didn't you tell me that before? I'll see you in the morning. All right. Say, hey, is that the banker? Ben was talking about? Mm-hmm. That little squirt, he don't look like no counterfeiter to Pancho. Pancho, did you ever see a counterfeiter? No, but my uncle knew a man whose wife cousin marry an hombre who make money selling tortillas. <laughs> Pancho, you and your uncle, you're both alike. Yes, but with very little difference. He's taller than me and I'm fatter than he and we don't got the same kind of faces. <laughs> hey, well, what's the army of Cisco and Pancho gonna do now? Going over to the bank, break in, and take a look at some money. Oh, oh, just like that, huh? Yes, just like that. Cisco, this breaking into the bank makes our work more interesting, eh? Why don't we wait till it gets dark? Because every minute may count. Pancho, you go to the front window and watch while I check some of this money. Bad? It's not good. It's him and your whiskers, Cisco, make up my mind. If it ain't good, it ain't bad. Is that what you mean? Pancho, how can he get so mixed up? Well, 
Well, it ain't easy. It, it takes lots of practice. I sure thought the bank would be loaded with counterfeit money. Well, what are you going to do now? Take it back to the bank. You know, Cisco, I think maybe I'm getting a little deep in my ears. I thought I heard you say you were going to take the money back to the bank. Yes, Pancho. I said we're going to take it back to the bank. Oh, Cisco. Stop your kicking and help me put this money in the bag. Adios, amiguitos. Adios. Here is the man who robbed the bank, Sheriff. You'll find the money inside. But Cisco, what are you saying? Cisco. Are you the Cisco kid? Who else could play through the dirty trick on Pancho and still live? I got word from Marshal Ben Lane to back up your play no matter what it is. Well, then lock him up. But Cisco, we have to make the arrest look real, Pancho. Stop complaining. You'll be nice and comfortable. Well, you know, when I get locked up, I, I get the hibbijibbies. He's all yours. Come on, Bob. Bob's to you. And to you, Bob's too. <laughs> Move. Oh, for Pete's sake, will you stop squawking? It could have been a lot worse if they'd taken that phony money. But I lost more than $30,000 in my hard-earned cash. I'm broke. Oh, no, you're not, Hale. You're a very lucky man. What do you mean? Here's all of your money, and I've got the robber locked up in jail. You can thank this man for capturing your thief. I'm very thankful, stranger, very thankful indeed. I, your daughter? No, no, I just work here. Oh, I would like to work here too, if you don't mind. Well, I'm afraid there isn't room for both of us. Well, I guess, uh... I hope you won't be offended. But I would like you to take this as a token of my deepest appreciation for what you've done. I promise you, I will not be offended. Thank you. And I will try again for that job, eh? Cisco, you go about this thing all wrong. These the counterfeiters should be in the jail, not Pancho. That's what I'm trying to do. Get the counterfeiters in jail. You do it the same way, we'll punch you will hang. I noticed this hotel in town is also a gambling place. Who runs it? A guy named Red Saunders. Hmm, a lot of money must change hands in a place like that. Yeah, Red gets plenty of action, all right. I think I'll try my luck over there, since the banker was good enough to stake me. He's cool. I'll break this place down if you don't let me out of here. Well, go ahead. It doesn't belong to me. It's even. 20 on the black, the winner. You win again, mister. That's what I came here for. All right, gentlemen, place your bets. Cash me in. the idea of paying me with counterfeit money. Change it into gold. Make it quick. I ought to blast your head off.
Hello, Saunders. How do you get away with passing phony money, Hill? I? Do you realize what you're saying? You're darn right I do. These bills are part of the bankroll I took out here this morning. Look, I run a respectable gambling house, and I'm not going to have a thing like this ruin my reputation. You didn't get those banknotes here. You must have taken them in over your tables. I did not, and you know I didn't. Now change them and make it fast. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Take you your choice, Hale. Hold it! They hang people for murder. Yes, I know, but I... You better go now. You haven't heard the last of this, Hale. Thanks to you again, Cisco. He might have killed me. He almost did. Do you think there is room enough for both of us yet? Not yet. I'll try again. Listen, Jane. This is getting too hot. I'm calling it a day. Yo, what? I'm not passing any more of that money through the bank. Now listen to me, Hale. You're in this up to your neck. And you'll quit when I say so. Not before. But I'm Shut not... up. Give me a hand. I've got a job that needs quick doing, Terry. Trouble? That gambler Saunders was in here raising cane about our product. Well, he got that over a week ago. Yes, but he just now turned up with it. Get busy before he makes any trouble. All right. I need your help, Sheriff. What's up, Cisco? Well, I tried something. It didn't work out the way I expected it. May get Saunders in a lot of trouble. You better keep your eye on him inside his place. I'll watch the outside. Right. Cisco, how can you get in so much trouble without Pancho? I'm doing pretty well by myself, Pancho. Saunders? I didn't shoot anybody. I, I don't even have a gun. Then why did you run away? Well, I, I was coming down the alley and I heard a shot, so I naturally took out as fast as I could. Do you know him, Sheriff? I've never seen him before. Saunders dead? No, he'll pull through. Let me see your hands. Palms up. Just as I thought. He's got the hands of a criminal, Sheriff. Better lock him up with the other prisoner. Just what I had in mind. Get going. Hey, Pancho. Cisco. Hey, be quiet. Listen very carefully. Get in there. Keep moving. Got company for you. Think 
think he's one of the counterfeiters, Cisco? I'm sure of it. His hands were smudged with printer's ink. What's more, I'm positive now Hale's in with him. Hale? Yes. I made Saunders think he gave me some counterfeit pills just to get a lead. He went straight to the bank and raised the roof with Hale. He said he got the money there. Hale didn't admit it, did he? Not by his words, but by his action. What do you mean? He sent his trigger man right out to keep Saunders from doing any more talking. I get it now, Cisco. Want me to put him under arrest? No, not yet. Not until I get more proof. That's why we're going to let the trigger man escape. What? I made all the arrangements with Pancho. Now look, Pancho's going to come out the front door. You think it'll fit? My friend, when Pancho Fernando Miguel Gonzalez do something, he do it good. <laughs> good to see. It will fit. Well, hurry up. Uh, keep your pants on your shirt. Well, we try them now. Uh, what I told you, huh? <laughs> Get out of here. Might as well turn back, boys. We've chased them far enough to make it look good. Come on. We give them the slips. Sure. We make pretty good team. Sure. And then we be partners, eh? That's right. Then let's sit down and talk. I'll eh? be right back. Where are you going? That's said I'll be right back. You wait here. Well, Sis, we better clear out while we can. All right. You pack the plates and I'll get some traveling money. What about Hale? He'll be right back. But he's not going with us. No? No. You'll take care of him and that agent at the same time. Right. Cisco! Cisco! That man to get away. But when he come back to town, he gave me the double up cross. How do you know he came back to town? I see his horse tie in the brush behind the bank. Get Pancho's gun. Let's go. Come on. Come Jane, what are you doing? Stop asking questions and go downstairs and wait for me. Move! Cisco. Come on down, Sheriff. Got work to do. Pancho, wait! If 
Pancho, what's the matter with you? What are you running from? I hear that Marshall Lane is after us again. And Marshall Lane means more counterfeiters, and more counterfeiters mean more jail for Pancho. The next time you put me in jail, I'll... You'll do what? Well, I'll stay in jail. Poor little Pancho. <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs>